we had our first cold front blow through last night dropped down 36 degrees this morning so I figured it's time to fire this baby up and then I'll just work around it wires and my connectors these wires I had to take out of the larger sand battery temporarily I'll just order more this stuff's pricey I think I paid like a hundred bucks for 20 feet so they sell these porcelain sleeve little dills to put wire through I had a couple somewhere but they were too small for what I need so I made these instead <laughs> I'm a, I gotta make three more. Some manufacturers have a flat, a flat slip on end. And this manufacturer has a, an eye, so a number eight screw just happens to fit right in there. I don't know if that's the proper size to use, but it seems to work fine. All wired up and ready to go. Coming down to the wire now. Coming down to the wire. So I just got to seal those wire holes and I can put the sand in. I have a heat sensor mounted so we can check the temperature. It's not going to be insulated for a while, but I might be able to cook pizzas. <laughs> so here's my terracotta insulators. They're kind of delicate. I'd be better off using the tile, but the tile is just so hard to drill. So I think they'll be all right. Alright, that's it as far as I know. I'm pouring the first bag of sand in. There's 10 bags. So I'll run to town tomorrow in the morning and probably about four more, three, four more bags it looks like. Hopefully I get the panels hooked up tomorrow. Six of them are already on stands. I have another stack of lumber to cut for one more stand. And then the last four, because I'm only going to run 12 to start with, 1,020 watts. That's 510 watts right there. I'm going to add that and another configuration just like that to start with. If that's not enough, I'll add another thousand and it'd be up to two thousand and forty watts. That's all I have on those particular panels. <laughs> 